The Bible says, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. This means that none of us are perfect. This means that none of us had our own ability to be able to reach God's standard of perfection or God's expectation of holiness. Even the ones that we think are the best of us. If you read the book of Isaiah, it also says, your holiness or your righteousness is as filthy rags before me. Because God is such a high and perfect standard. But God expresses his love and his mercy by giving us his son, Jesus Christ. So today, brothers and sisters, I want you to know that there is nothing that is greater than the mercies of God. Because when God looks at you, God doesn't see you for what you have done. God doesn't see you for the things that you have been through. But God sees you for what you can become. God sees you for your true identity in Christ. It is only because of the mercy of God that we are able to go before God. Not because of our own deeds. Because we are unworthy, we are undeserving. But because of his unmerited faith, because of his grace, love, kindness, and mercy, God accepts us as his own. So no matter what you have been through in life, no matter what kind of past that you have, no matter how dirty you think you are, God still accepts you today because of his mercy. I want to reassure you that you don't have to do anything to qualify for the love of God. That you don't have to do anything to qualify for the blessing and the goodness and the kindness of God. But you only need to access the mercy that has been made available by God through Jesus Christ on the cross. This is why the writer of Hebrews says that we may boldly approach the throne of grace, that we may find mercy and help in the hour of need. God is ever present to help us, to deliver us out of our situations out of our sicknesses, out of our financial problems, out of our marital problems, out of all the spiritual warfare that we may face in our lives. But a lot of people stop themselves from approaching God. A lot of people hold themselves back because they think that they are unworthy. And they are right. They are not worthy. None of us are. But we are only made worthy because of the mercy of God because of the mercy that we have been shown through the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. So undeserving as we are, we come boldly before the throne of grace and we plead for the mercies of God. Undeserving as we are, we come boldly into the presence of God and we plead for the unmerited favor that comes to us through mercy. Come